Today we're going to be making a simple vegan butter, which is great if you're vegan, obviously, great if you're looking to reduce your dairy intake, and great if you're lactose intolerant. If you already follow a vegan diet, then a lot of these ingredients will be familiar to you. You might have most of them in your cupboard already. This is so quick and simple to do, so let's get straight into it. We're going to start by blending up our nuts and our milk. So today I'm going to use cashew nuts, but you could use another nut. Macadamia nuts would work really well. Today I'm going to use almond milk for the plant-based milk, but you could use other plant-based milks as well. So we'll go into the blender jug with a third of a cup of cashew nuts and half a cup of almond milk. So we'll blend this up on nut mode for around 30 seconds until it's nice and smooth. After about 30 seconds or when it's nice and smooth, you can go ahead and give the sides of the blender jug a scrape down with a spatula, and then we can add all of the rest of the ingredients. We'll go in with one cup of softened, refined coconut oil, two teaspoons of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of ground turmeric, and a quarter of a cup of refined avocado oil or another mild tasting oil. Blend it for a further 30 seconds or until it's nice and smooth, being careful not to have it in there for too much longer than that. We don't want the butter getting too hot. Give it a taste and see if you think it might need a little bit more salt. You can add that in now and just blend it up really quickly again. Once that's all done, get it into a sterile container and then it needs to sit in the fridge for two hours to set. So here's our vegan butter. It's been in the fridge, it's nice and set, and it's ready to use straight away. You may wanna thaw it for a couple of minutes to make sure that it's nice and spreadable. Otherwise, this will last in the fridge, covered for 10 to 12 days, or in the freezer for a few months. You might wanna freeze a portion for later and have some in the fridge for now. There's a few other tips and tricks to go along with this recipe that are written up in the blog post online. So make sure you check that out in the link below. Make sure you give this recipe a go and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Otherwise, hit subscribe to see more of our Lavelli Life recipes and other ways to use your appliances at home. Give the video a like if you enjoyed this one today and we look forward to bringing you another recipe next week.